What is going on everybody? My name is Tony 2.0 and today we're going to talk about the newest champ coming to League of Legends. Today, August the 26th, 2014, Riot released the first information about Azir, the Emperor of the Sands. This, ladies and gentlemen, looks looks like uh, he could be a lot of fun to play. Azir is a mage, generally probably going to be looking at top or middle lane, uh, but it does sound like he may have some advantages to play in the jungle as well. The way that his abilities and his kit stack up are possibly going to give him more of a flex, flex position, and as I first read through these abilities that we're going to discuss, it looks like he may even have the possibility of being a very strong support. Let's get right into this, and we're going to break down the abilities that he has, as well as talk about my opinion on those. First off, his passive, Will of the Emperor, cooldown re reduction uh, increases Azir, Azir's attack speed. Uh, this passive, Disc of the Sun. Azir raises a sun disc on the base of a turret that you destroy. Uh, this is excluding base turrets and uh, nexus turrets, inhibitors, uh, things that are deep inside the enemy's base, but in the laning phase or helping to destroy laning phase, it turns, it, it, it really looks like Azir is going to, he's going to be a destroyer of turrets and he's going to be a pain as far as rushing in, getting the last few hits, his passive goes off, Disc of the Sun goes down, and then you can engage into a fight. On the screen, you guys can see how this is going to function. It has yet been able to put out to see how long this is going to last, uh, but it does look like this sun disc pops up, sticks around, and then acts as a friendly turret for you and your teammates. Moving on down to his Q, Conquering Sands. Azir orders all sand soldiers to rush to a target position. Uh, the soldiers damage and slow enemies, then smashed through as they rush into the fray. This looks like it's going to be his poke, uh, and Azir is going to be, like, like I said, he's a mate, so it's going to be the range and probably his primary, uh, what looks like his primary ability. Moving on down the list to Arise! Azir summons an unt untargetable sand soldier, a memory of one of his fallen warriors. Uh, Azir uses his basic attack as a command, ordering this soldier to attack for him. It's going to give him some distance in the fight, and it will be interesting to see how far you'll be able to stretch this. Sand soldiers attack even if Azir himself isn't in basic attack range. That's what I'm talking about with um, how far you're going to be able to do this and actually poke away with it. This is going to give him some range to get out of the battle if he's taking some damage and possibly fend off enemy attackers if he gets kind of I'm thinking if he gets ganked or something like that his W is going to the ability to to do some kite and help him do some damage uh, as he's trying to get away or become a major pain in the ass as he uh, as he's as he's laning and getting into a rotation or a sustained fight Moving on down to his E, Shifting Sands. Azir rushes to a target sand soldier. Uh, if Azir collides with an enemy champion, he stops knocking them up and gaining a shield. This is uh, the equivalent of Alistair's charge knockup, uh, is what I kind of compared it to. Uh, and to me, gives him quite a bit of versatility and, and why I really thought that he could be a pretty sustainable support character uh it is it's going to be hard to see because there's no stats really out for how much this shield is going to block if it's going to have any bonuses for 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 defending magic or physical damage or the the exact specifics on it but uh this is one of those things that um this champ is going to be pretty pretty hybrid built from the sound of things moving on to his ultimate emperor's divide Azir calls forth a phalanx of shield-wielding soldiers who rush forward, knock back, and do damage to all their enemies. If this scales off of AP, this could be huge. Uh, when the soldiers finish their charge, they stand as a wall. So not only can this be used to get yourself out of a tight situation, I can also see it being used to protect certain objectives on the battlefield. Maybe stop them from finishing off a turret or 
keep them from getting to a Baron. Think about putting this on front side Baron or front side Dragon if your team is a little bit uh, a ways from finishing that off. Popping ult, doing some damage, keeping them from getting into you so you can finish the objective, then be ready for your attack. Guys, this is the first information that has come out about Azir, and I'm actually pretty excited to play him. Nar was kind of a cool champion, uh, but... <laughs> I, I don't know. There's just something about him that I don't like. I don't like not being able to control uh, his his small form versus his big form. And so Azir kind of sounds more up my alley. I like to play mages as well. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how this comes. For those of you that have not read all of the lore on there, I'll leave the link down in the description to the story. If you like this video, please do me a favor, click like, subscribe. I'm going to try to do more of these. I'm going to try to do some patch updates. Uh, and I know some people were wondering when this champ is going to be available uh, in, in beta testing. And you're probably looking at this weekend at the earliest, maybe, you know, with 4.15 coming out, you're probably looking at middle of next week at the latest. But I wouldn't be shocked if he's not in the rotation um, on the PvE servers <laughs> probably this weekend. Guys, my name is Tony 2.0. Thank you for checking out this video. I will be back again very soon. Peace.